in the morning and we're on a mission because we're leaving Palma today so we're gonna climb up to the top of a recommended hill to get some good photos and a time-lapse of the view of Palma we had uh, guests arrive yesterday last night so we are going to sail out of Palma with them on board um, two of them are crew members who are joining us for a couple of months so that's exciting Two of them are friends who are just with us for a couple of days. And uh, we're hoping to show them a good time and go see some pretty stuff. But for right now, we're on a photography mission in the middle of the night. Look at that. It's an upside down church. I don't think we're very good at this photography videography thing yet. Um, that was a bit of a failed mission. We didn't actually get to a point where we could watch the sun rise from the east. Oh well, maybe next time. See you later, Palma. Now that me and really ease the pain. Now the dark days are done and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Pirate ship or uh, SAS? Sunny Is so that all with death? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about three and a half years ago when we were both looking into signing up for the Clipper Around the World Yacht Race. Um, I signed up to do the entire thing, um, quit my job, sailed around the world, and Brian and Tasha and I got to know each other throughout that experience. Um, since then, I've done a few other adventures, including working for Alvi Medica in the Volvo Ocean Race, and um, since going to work for Clipper as an onboard reporter. So when the opportunity came up for me to come on board Cheeky Monkey and help chase the story uh, with Ryan and Tasha, I just, it was an opportunity that I couldn't turn down. So one of the um, things that I think being a part of this experience that's really cool is that I'll actually get to explore the places that we're stopping in at and get to see parts of the world that I may have been to before but haven't really had a chance to explore. So Meg, how was that uh, compared to uh, hoisting a mainsail on a open a 60? Bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit less labor intensive, but you know, it's a new boat for me, so it's not as, uh, not as straightforward as the clipper boats used to be, I guess. I mean, those weren't straightforward, this is way easier, <laughs> but enjoyable. You can probably do it with a drink in hand, right? Isn't that the point? Sunny. Thank you for the sunshine. Just a little bit. Near land. <laughs> like it looks decisive. Where are we going? Are we going right there? Yeah. See the beach? Can you see a beach maybe. Over there. Where's the beach, Dad? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
something cute. Over there. Over there. It's definitely <laughs> over there. I got it again. Yeah, just quick one, John. I think just past the headland there, and then we're there <laughs> right, and you'll see a beach that I think I looked at the map before, and it looks as if the beach is about a kilometre long, oh, and perfect. I reckon as there's no roads there, we're going to have the whole beach to ourselves. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's talking about. What are you trying to make me look bad? <laughs> we are very, very excited because we get to pull into a little beach. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but we're pulling into a little beach somewhere on the southeast-ish coast of Spain, not far from Cartagena. Where the Cartagena, hell is it? Cartagena, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. far from Cartagena. And the plan is to get our toys out and go wakeboarding because we have six people on board and it's time to go have some fun because we've been at sea for not two days, but like a day and a half now. And uh, yeah, it's time for a break. Thank you for the love you my way you gave to me your all in all and now I feel ten feet tall sunny one so true I love It's a gorgeous day here in Spain and we've stopped off to do some uh, water sports. Christy's out there looking like an absolute professional on her wakeboard making us all look terrible and as you can see the view behind us is amazing We only have uh, four people on board this boat. No, three people? Right three now. people on board this boat right now, and we're going to have four today, and yet we provisioned like we're going to go on an ocean crossing for three weeks with 20 people. Well, it's a problem. Two more come tonight. That's true. There will be six. Well, at least we know we can feed them. <laughs> I wouldn't be totally surprised if all of this put together doesn't make a meal. <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, so much fun. John, can I give you this line? Either Tasha's better at wakeboarding than I am, or I'm better at driving the dinghy this year. I can't work where it is. Maybe a bit of both. 